Before the video begins I'd just like to say Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you all got what you wanted for Christmas. I'd also just like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked the video, or even come across my channel. You guys are the reason I do this. I'm forever grateful for each and every one of you. You guys mean the world to me. This entire year was a huge turning point for me. I've decided to go full force into YouTube. I have lots of things I want to do with this channel so please look forward to that. With all the mushy shit out of the way, all I want from you guys is just to like and subscribe. That would be the best Christmas gift you guys could give me. I love you guys. Now onto the video. Hello and welcome to the metaverse. Ubisoft has done, well, something with For Honor I guess. Whether you love or hate the way Ubi is taking the game the one thing we can all agree on is that this game can certainly become better. We all want the game to be better we just have different routes to get to that ideal perfection of For Honor. Here are some of my ideal changes that I think would make For Honor better. Before we begin the video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We're close to 10k, it really helps my channel out a ton. Starting off is something I think would help For Honor content creation. First we have theater mode. Anyone who was born in the 21st century and has played a AAA title knows what the fuck a theater mode is and what most content creators use it for, but for the cavemen and women in the back who've only played Pong and fucking For Honor only. I'll explain it. Theater mode is a storage area of all the games you played, allowing you to view them back at a later period. Most games have this shit in there you'll rarely see any game not have it in. But the reason I want it mainly is because. You can basically use this for amazing montages. Call of Duty and Fortnite especially are known for their montages. I think with a theater mode it'd free up a lot more creativity and for honor content creators to make unique and really creative montages. Next is a community contest for the next hero or map. This community is full of so many amazing and creative people. It's basically free work for you B. You have plenty of people who'd love to see their concepts come to life in game. I mean be honest, you know how fucking cool it'd be to see the map you made put in an official title? You know how much shit I'd be talking if my concept was put into the game officially? This at least creates more buzz to the game as whole. I mean who the fuck would not even try to get themselves entered this at least causes more communication between devs to player interaction. The most we hear from them is from reddit or the warriors den. This game is in dire need of tutorial help. So many of the newer players have no idea what the fuck is going on cause the help they get is garbage. Granted this game is not hard to grasp at all but man the first initial weeks have to be genuine aids for new players. You have zero clue what the fuck is going on. I feel like Ubisoft just relies on the content creators to tell you the shit they put in the game. Seriously, why in the blue fuck do we not have a training mode with the frame data in it? And lastly an event playlist filled with all kinds of things. That way there's something going on in For Honor every week. You could do a mosh pit of everything in For Honor one week. Then do a mosh pit of all the events for the next two. Some people want to play Ice Brawlers in July for some weird reason. Then let them. Having a mosh pit of all the game modes means people get to try everything. It also means there is something at least somewhat substantial going on every week. One week it could be Dance of Death and the next week it could be the Assassin's Creed crossover. I'm not sure about everyone else but I would most certainly take that May the 4th event. That is still hands down the best thing For Honor has done with this game in such a long time. Most people get on the game for 3 modes. Duels, Breach, or Dominion. That leaves 4 modes sad and alone. This game would certainly benefit from some variety. I know y'all gotta be tired of playing Dominion on Citadel Gate for the 9th time today. Wouldn't you rather play Harbor Elimination 45 times in a row? Side note a lot of people said Harbor isn't the worst map. You people are lying to yourselves. In every mode that map is dog shit. B lane on Harbor is absolute torture to clear and elimination every boost takes longer than Johnny Sin's list of job titles to come up. That map will forever be dog shit. Beach had a close second though. Anyway back on track. UB would definitely benefit from most of these changes. Spreading the community across all of your game. You have so many modes that you left to rot. Ask the three tribute players. They'll agree for sure. 
Tribute hasn't been touched in so long. On god you could remove that mode and no one would even notice nor care. I'd just rather have the entire game be populated rather than just those three modes. Also for the most important change. For honor please put warden in Fortnite. This concludes today's video make sure to comment what changes you'd like to see happen in For Honor. Also make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a ton we're to care away from 10,000 subscribers. Subscribe or I'll call Santa and tell him you're la all on the naughty list, and we don't want that now do we? Exactly. And until next time. This one is a bit more of a nitpick but can we get joinable lobbies please you be? Half the time I can't invite people because your game constantly thinks they aren't online even though they clearly fucking are. Also make arcade free. Ain't no one buying that shit now. That shit to us to be costing money.